Hello all. Today we'll be doing another very important aspect of non-verbal communication that is proxemics. In our last session we discussed the different kinds of non-verbal cues that uh, play a very important role in uh, conveying a message in the proper format from sender to receiver. Proxemics as we had discussed in our last class also is the study of space. Proximus was invented by anthropologist Edward Hall. The word was coined by him. Proximus is the study of physical space in the interpersonal relation. How actually we are making use of the space and how actually uh, the space is communicating the kind of intrapersonal relationship two people are having. This is the uh, study that we do in Proximus. The way people use space tells a lot about them. Basically, proximics is the study of space and how we use it, how it makes us feel more or less comfortable and how we arrange objects and ourselves in relation to the space. So, uh, it is the non-verbal communication and it is the study where we uh, see how people uh, are uh, placed in relation to each other like in uh, in the modern day time in the multinational organizations the kind of workspace they are having is they all sit in the same big hall and they have cubicles and there is no rigid compartmentalization okay like we they can see each other but they do have their own personal space also in form of cubicles so what is the organization trying to communicate the organization is trying to say that you all are uh, equal in status but uh, along with this you all have your personal space also so the more we interact with each other so more it will be easier for us to work in a team okay gone are the days when we the employees were made to sit in, in places where there was no visibility of any other or other employee okay they used to come do their work and go home so now things are changing so the study of space it involves how we arrange personal space and how uh, and what are we arrange in it it is the important thing every culture uh, has its own ways of uh, using the space okay and there are strict do's and don'ts for any every culture therefore if anyone is sent to uh, any foreign assignment for any foreign assignment he has to undergo a cross cultural training before that where he is taught the do's and don'ts of uh, the different cultures like there are cultures uh, where uh, where uh, they do not entertain uh, people at a very close distance